Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Dan Geesling. I had a great idea for a gun game. Let's go on the largest open map in the game and take one of the worst close range SMGs and play a little gun game. What am I talking about? We have the Peep Leaps 1999. What the PPP 9N Klingon Blaster. I never used it. But what a time to be alive and try some gun game here. So, if you're unfamiliar, typically in woods, what happens is there's going to be a lot of long-range Mosins. There's going to be a lot of Scavarinos trying to take their shot at the legend. Who's the legend? You never know. But uh, excited to give this a shot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As you guys, uh, you know, I think you can sense it. You can feel it. It's a new era of the Tarkonnaissance. Oh, uh, but in all seriousness, thank you guys so much for supporting the video, the Tarkov videos on the channel. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. I'm just kind of, you know, it, it's like you saddle up and you, sometimes you don't know if you're on a donkey, a bucking bronco, or a belly back dolphin. And you just kind of get on for a ride here so the, the if you guys are new to how we play gun game the only thing i did add today just for you know a little bit of quality of life we remnants of super milkman but also put on some commies you know com, yeah commies to me are a quality of life thing it, it, it gives us a shot to you know maybe stay competitive in a full auto situation i did that and i bought a scav vest only reason because these mags are so large that you know they wouldn't fit in our normal pockets. So, let's go see if we can trade up here. Woods is definitely a very Minkus map. And if you've been watching the previous episodes, you know exactly who Minkus is and what he represents. And I, I'm a simple man. I see boxes. And let's go loot them here. This is, this is what I believe to be one of the... Um, familiar choke points in the area choke point meaning that you drop yourself in that situation anything can happen meaning that if this were a bucket and you had chopped up liver worst pork chops ball bearings and orange juice and you dumped it into the pacific ocean there would be a lot of scavs chopping at the bit uh, that's kind of where we're at right now so I, I think the, the goal right now is, of course, to win the gun game. But outside of that, just step one, let's fire off the gun. You know, I, I don't know if this thing burns. I don't know, know if this thing skips pebbles, but does gun game count if we loot? That's an interesting question. I don't know. That just pops. Does gun game count if we loot like a legendary gun? I'm telling you, I am telling you, you cannot write this stuff. How can you, how, I can't write this stuff. I, I can't write it. I, I, if I could write a script, I, I couldn't even think to write that. What are the odds? We're just out here living the Tarkov lifestyle, picking up gold and tip ballots. You know what? Let them fight it out right now. I cannot believe that. I, I, People leaps Klingon blaster. <laughs> What's next? You know, what are they gonna give us? Not it's certainly not another gold chain. You thought for a second there. You thought for a second that was a gold chain. I, I know you did. All right, let's press on here. <laughs> I'm telling you, anything's possible. When you fire up Tarkov, in particular, when you go to go to our channel, you never know what you're going to see. Let's go ahead and press forward here. The game's been a little bit wavy lately, you know? Look at the lemongrass. Ooh. Yo, crack open a cold one. We need that for Mr. Humper Humperdinks. <laughs> um, Mr. Humperdinck's cooler. So we'll, you know, hey, we'll save that for a later date. All right, so now we have not seen any scabs. 
We were fortunate that one of the rare spawns in the area gave us a nice parka cola. And let's go, let's go put this thing to the, the burner test here, shall we? Oh, I thought I saw someone out there. The people leaps. Cling on, there we go. All right, let's check the range on this bad boy. Well, it certainly made a lot of noise. Didn't hit home. I wonder if there's a contingency in Tarkov who stand by and defend the people leaps cling on blaster. There's a chance. I, you know, I, it, there's all sorts of contingencies and conglomerates within escape from Tarkov. You know, there's people that like the stubby Mosin, and there's people that like the Mosin stubby. There's a no judgment zone. Whatever you like to do, as long as you have fun doing it. All right, let's press on here. Now, we got to catch someone here. So, checkbox one, we did fire off said weapon. Nothing like making a little noise. And not <laughs> Hang in here. All right. I still think it's going to be sauced up in here. Is it going to be sauced up? Where's the sauce at? Nice and easy. Burner? Nah, not a burner. That's a one tapper. I guess we don't need to be running around. You hear that snap snap? You know, what could, what, what could go wrong? We're just searching a little gun box. Like that. Uh, you, you never know. You never know. You gotta loot everything. That, they don't cause the greatest looter in Tarkov for nothing. <laughs> Tra that's trademarked, by the way. Not really, but... Instead of little TM, we'll put a little MM. Meme mark. Alright, come on. So quiet. That could go down as potent. What was that? The range on this thing is impeccable. Its style is incredulous. How are we doing bullets wise? You know what? Eat it. All right, here we go, kid. Where is he? Give us a little bit of that heat. We've located the target. We've got our spandex on. Both legs are damaged. We're being surrounded. I hear people yelling. Suzanne Summers says, cut the music. Suzanne. <laughs> Hang in here. All right. We got a second here. Just relax here. We're going to be okay. Okay, he, legs are saved. We can salvage this. Oh, Suzanne, please. I know you're working on your latest and greatest fitness achievement. We got to get one. I mean, whose idea was this? To take the bottom feeding SMGs on the longest distant map in the game. Where are they? Lurking. Dusting off old VCRs. They vanished. Lot of McKaiser.
Arthur Ziggian sent us pack. And you know what? We, everyone that comes to our YouTube channel deserves a little prize. I feel like we didn't get a prize on this one. Let me cue something up here. Everyone deserves a little parting present here. So you know what? Let's go into factory as a scav here. We got a shotgun. We got a dream. And we were born in the NES era. <laughs> Here's the rules of the Contra run. You have to keep running and gun bucking. What does gun bucking mean? It means when he runs it like with the gun like that. Really it just means you just... You just keep running. It's panic mode. Snaps. Let's go! Hey, in Contra, sometimes you get a little extra life. We whiffed on the first one. We will not whiff on the second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not in there, kid. Not in there, kid. What is that? No looting. You can't loot. I don't care if that's... No, Contra, there's no... Let's go! There's no looting! In Contra, if we would have looted that, we wouldn't have got that kill. Hang in here, hang in here. Let's go, that's three out of Contra run, kid. <laughs> we will return to Contra runs in the future on the back end of gun games. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Escape from Tarkov. If you guys did, clicking a like button helps out a great deal. Thank you guys for all the love. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you are too. If you got any crazy zany ideas, guess what? Drop them in the comments. You just may see it happen. Join us live for the Dan Geesling Show at twitch.tv slash Dan Geesling. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for some clean, positive entertainment. It's completely free to watch. Come hang out with the community. Everyone's super nice. We play highfalutin games like Escape from Tarkov, Enter the Gungeon, and Dark Souls. I hope to see you guys there on twitch.tv slash Dan Geesling. Yeah.